Shut up, lady. What up, everybody? Your boy D is back with more Far Cry, more awesome gameplay and everything coming your way. What we about to do today, we finna take over Pagan Men's Fortress. Getting tired of this dude? We finna go ahead and settle this right now before we do any missions. Hey, you in my way, damn it. Oh, they all right there. Oh yeah, call in the reinforcements all you want. We will be there in 30 seconds. Yeah, I would run if I were y'all. Yep, I didn't listen to me. <laughs> Coming from the air? That's cool. We are inbound from the south. You about to be inbound. Dead, baby. Mm. Love it. I didn't think I had weapons, man. I thought you reloaded, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Come on. Let me take care of this punk ass. We are coming from the air. Oh, man. Get out of here with that shit. The hell on somewhere. Oh no, you know what? Damn it. Fuck got me stuck. Stupid fucking sniper, man. I really hate you guys. Try to take me out, huh? Fuck you and this fortress, bitch. Haha, <laughs> yeah, burn, baby. Burn. That's it? of the golden path and your father's legacy thank you so much pagan stronghold is ours and kira will finally see her children reclaim their rightful place once pagan is dead all right detach the animal What do you think you're doing? This isn't your ride. I've got one last job before we wrap things up. The fuck's wrong with him? A meter needs to go. It's the will of Kira. It's the only way to spare Kira from more bloodshed. Hey. She's just another pagan. Do what needs to be done, brother. Okay, so I gotta kill Amita. Yeah, that's what it tells me to do. And 
that sucks. Could have had something special, Nita. But you disrespected me the whole game. You tried to play me one time. I don't like that shit. Ajay, I need you to listen to me very carefully. When you confront Amita, she will do her best to talk you into letting her go. You cannot believe a word she says. She is a godless heretic with no respect for her own heritage, her own history. The future of Kira depends on your ability to follow through with this mission. Do not fault her. And Ajay, this is what your father would have wanted. Make him proud. Yeah, all right, cool, whatever, man. You. He sent you to kill me. I knew it'd come to this, but you. Who else pulls the trigger around here? <sighs> Good point. <laughs> Sabal hides behind his blind faith in tradition, and you just. You follow along like one of his subjects. I actually believed you when you said all you wanted to do was honor your mother's dying wish. Go on. Son of Mohan. Savior of Kirat. Follow your orders. Pull the trigger. Don't tempt me. I'm sure it's the will of Kirat. Don't tempt me. What? Oh, you don't tempt me. <laughs> Why, why would you tempt me? You happy now? I didn't want to do it, but you, you, you taunted me. There you go, get your papers in order, you know. Take them with you. Yeah, mm-hmm, that just happened. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It sucks, don't it? Somewhere along the line, I know I messed up. Damn, lady. Could have had something Amita's special. Taken care of. It's not for me to judge her now, brother. The gods will do that. You have a dictator to kill and a war to end. No more arguments. No more spinning in circles. Ajay, we've been waiting for you. Everybody is rallying for one final push. We're hitting Fagin's fortress. It won't be easy. Bitch, I already took that shit over. I heard about Amitha. Whatever you're feeling, just know that Sabal only wants what's best for Kirat. Mm hmm. Fucking way they gonna die. Shit, yeah, fuck it. I don't give a damn. Motherfucker, don't get in my shot, man. Steady getting in my damn shot, man. Use
that the armory? Yeah, that helicopter's going down, baby. Run up in here and take this over. Motherfucker. Nice combat roll, my dude. Still didn't help you, dumbass. We're heading your way now. Come on, man. I got rounds for days, baby. Get out my damn shot, you stupid ass. They're trying to retake the fortress. Fight them off. You ain't said nothing but a word. running up on me for man like y'all stupid y'all really want me to dive on fuck you up leave my dog on people alone Who else won it? He ain't winning nothing. I just got hit by a rocket. Y'all survived that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Damn it. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all not winning, man. It's fort. Oh, destroy a statue. Alright. Ball. 
I got the gate open. I'm heading for the palace. The Royal Guard is counterattacking. We can't support you. I'm going in. Kira be with you, brother. Oh, yeah. Knock, knock, motherfucker. What's good, man? Come in. Mm-hmm. I apologize for the austerity I sent to help home. Chances are you shot them on your way in. Now, before we begin... To whom am I speaking? The son who returned to scatter his mother's ashes, or the lunatic who has murdered his way to the top of my mountain? If I was speaking to the first guy, then I would say, sit down. Let's be civilized. Enjoy some food. But we tried that before, didn't we? At our first meeting? You sat right here. Paul was off applying voltage to the nipples of your rude little plus one. I stood just like this. And what were my exact words? Ah. Stay here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I'll be right back. If you had just listened, just waited for me, then we would have come back here straight away, together, and scattered your mother's ashes. So then you must be the second guy who didn't listen, decided instead to join the other monkeys and start throwing his shit around. Hey, shit happens, man. But I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I call a do-over. Mm -hmm. I say you have two choices. Mm -hmm. One, you could shoot me, boring, or you could sit down, enjoy some food, and you and I will go scatter your mother's ashes together. You know, I am kind of hungry. I've been killing everybody and shit, you know. I'm good. So, who did you kill? Hmm? Is it Amitabh? Sabal? Doesn't really matter. I already know. I just want to hear you say it. Fuck you. My goodness, boy, you didn't even blink. <laughs> well, you do realize that you're just giving away your country, right? It's yours. It's always been yours. Kirat is yours. I pulled you off the bus in the first place to pass it on to you. I suppose you could take it back. You're halfway there. One down, one to go. Not that I want to put ideas in your head. At least now we know you have a taste for doing what it takes. Mm-hmm. Well, no more putting it off, I suppose. Hmm. Well, come on. And don't forget your mother. This has been carrying around these ashes for the longest. Tumbling out of cars. Gotta be the best urn ever. You do realize that urn represents all that's left of the old RJ. The pre Kirat RJ. Once you spread those ashes, all the ties you have to that previous life are gone. And then what happens? Well, I suppose you could do what I did after Mohan killed Lakshmana. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? Huh. Yes, your father killed your half-sister, and then your mother killed him in return. I simply continued where she left off. I killed so many people for them. But then I realized 
I was only using Lakshmana's death as an excuse to do whatever I wanted to do. Just as you use those ashes as an excuse to do whatever you want to do. God damn if it isn't fun. Well, you finally made it. You know, the one and only time I walked into this place, I came in a sane man and came out. Like this. You. You will come out a king. Well, go on, then. Do what you came here to do. So she wasn't even that. Oh, so she was very young. Okay. Yeah, sing that, sing that. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on, bro. Like the hell you are. That's because I can't ride in the helicopter. Guess what's gonna happen to you, homeboy? You ain't keeping shit. Hagen's dead. Good brother. It's finally over. I can't believe it. Did you find Lakshmana? Yeah, I found it, Sabal. My mom's at rest now. Thank you. Kirat's free, brother. Mohan's at rest too now, because of you. Come on home. I could use a right-hand man to bring Kirat back to its roots. Hmm. Hello, David. Oh, Mr. Gale. Well, I guess that's it then. No more mayhem and destruction. Hanging up the old rocket launcher. <laughs> All right. I really love what you've done with the place. Uh, It'll be sad to see you go. Put it on the shelf, as it were. Gathering dust. Unless... <coughs> some unfinished business, perhaps. Loose ends to snip. Or people to kill. you damn right. That's why I just said, Donna. It's Yogi, you prat. Smoke? Smoke? Not this time. 